in which modulation the signal is superimposed over the carrier waves. Amplitude modulation Original signal can be obtained from sampled version using Low pass filter 88 to 108 MHz band frequency is used for dash broadcasting. FM broadcasting. The frequency range used for radar is UHF and microwave. Indicate the false statement. Modulation is used to reduce the bandwidth used. Vestigial sideband modulation is used for TV broadcasting. Which of the modulation technique having lowest bandwidth? SSB-SC Single Sideband Suppressed Carrier Modulation The intermediate frequency of FM radio receiver is ten point seven megahertz. In AM receiver, the detection process is done by using diode detector. Frequency converter stage in radio receiver contains mixer and local oscillator. Pre-emphasis in FM system involves Amplification of high frequency components of modulating signal Modern FM receivers use de-emphasis circuit for Reducing amplitudes of modulating signal at high frequencies. The frequency range of AM is given by five fifty to one thousand six hundred and fifty kilohertz. In FM receivers, the limiter is used to fall. Eliminating amplitude variations. An antenna is a device that converts guided EM wave to free space EM wave and vice versa. VHF range is between. 30 to 300 megahertz. Which of the pulse modulation scheme is analog? PAM pulse amplitude modulation. All other schemes are digital. Which of the following are the advantages of FM broadcasting over AM broadcasting? Better signal to noise ratio, not subject to signal fading, power efficiency is superior, demodulation is simpler. Correct option is 1 and 2. Better signal to noise ratio and not subject to signal fading. Which of the following blocks is not common in both AM and FM receivers? Slop detector 
What is the intermediate frequency used in AM receivers? Four fifty five kilohertz.